everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm coming at you barefaced once again uh, with my nighttime skincare routine. I said that this was going to be uploaded uh, shortly after my normal skincare routine. I lied um, because I just haven't had time to film, but today I'm filming my nighttime skincare routine. So let's just jump straight in. I am filming this in the morning, so I'm not gonna be putting all of these um, products on my face today. If you wanna see me actually use the products, let me know down below, but I feel like this will be fine. Of an evening, I will still have some makeup on, so the first thing I will do is take off as much as I can using Bioderma. I use this in the morning as well, but this is what I use to take off the rest of my makeup from the day. Uh, and it's really really good. I love it. I'm gonna use some of this now as well because it is the morning and I just want to make sure my skin is nice and clean So once I've done that I will go to the bathroom and uh, Do my cleanser. So this is the cleanser I'm using. It's the La Roche-Posay Effaclar range It's the purifying foaming gel for oily sensitive skin. I really really like this it really cleanses the skin without stripping it of all of its oils even though it is for oily skin it doesn't leave you feeling like tight and um, like you've got absolutely no moisture in your skin which I hate that I used to use a Kiehl's one that did that to my skin and I just did not like it at all so this one is um, really good for not making you feel is that in focus so love that so once I've cleansed my skin I will pat it dry and if I'm you know feeling like I need it I will use the Body Shop Drops of Youth liquid peel and this basically you put it on dry skin uh, one pump or two pumps however much you want I usually use one pump and then you rub it into your face and it kind of balls up into uh, balls <laughs> basically, and um, it's getting rid of all of the dead skin sitting on top of your face. So yeah, I absolutely love it for when I'm feeling particularly built up and if I need to get rid of some like dry skin and like just yucky stuff, then I will go in with that and it works an absolute treat. I don't do that every night. I think it recommends that you do it like two to three times a week. <gasps> I was so right. Two to three times a week you're supposed to use it. Um, I probably don't even use it that much. It's maybe like a once a week thing for me. Um, like at the end of the week, I just want to get rid of everything and start again. But yeah, love that. And then if I'm, this is like once in a blue moon, I will do this. But if I'm feeling like a pamper sesh and I've got some time, then I will go in with the Body Shop Himalayan Charcoal Purifying Glow Face Mask. This is a really, really nice mask. Um, it is what it says on the tin. It's a charcoal mask and it is really, really nice. It smells absolutely beaut. Um, and this will just like draw out any impurities and gives you a really nice glowy skin finish. So once I've used the mask, if I've used the mask, I will go in with my serum. So I was using, and I showed you in my previous skincare video, I was using the Nip and Fab Dragon's Blood Fix Plumping Serum which I still absolutely love, but I'm actually out of this at the moment and I wanted to try this one, so I've been using this one um, for day and night now. This is the Vichy Mineral 89 Serum and this stuff is so nice. It is just like a splash of hydration. It really is so hydrating. I'm going to use some of this now because I need it. So I just take one pump and I just spread it all over the face. And it's got a kind of slippery texture to it, which I really enjoy, I don't know why. Um, it feels like a bit uh, like it's got like glycerin in it or something like that. Don't actually know if it has, but um, that's what it feels like. And it really dries down quick and sinks in nicely. Then I will go in with my moisturiser. So I've been mixing it up. So in my last video, you saw that I was using the um, Body Shop Drops of Youth one. I have been really liking this still. It's a, it's just a nice light moisturiser. This one I've also been using, uh, this is the Vichy Aqualia Thermal Gel Cream. Um, and I really like this one 
it's super hydrating and I've just been, yeah, really liking it. So I'm going to go in with some of that today. I don't use night creams, um, not because I have an issue with them, just because I just buy moisturisers and use them for both morning and evening. I don't particularly need um, a night cream, I don't think, it's a bit too thick for me. I really like a light moisturiser and then for evening you'll see that I go in with something else that's going to add more hydration to my skin. I just don't feel like I need a really thick moisturiser. so. That's why I'm using the same moisturiser I would use for during the day. Do excuse this volcano that's decided to erupt on my face. Brilliant. And so now I'm moisturised, then I will go in with my L'Oreal Extraordinary Oil. I take maybe four drops of this and then pat it into my face. I'm not going to do this now because I don't want an oily face before I put my makeup on. But yeah, this is really, really nice and sinks into the skin beautifully and I love applying it just before bed and, you know, letting it sink in overnight. It's really, really nice and you don't wake up with that, like, oily, greasy skin feeling. It's, like, all sunk in and you're nice and plump and it's just really, really nice. And then the last thing that I will do before bed is go in with my night cream. So I have two that I kind of switch between. Um, did I say night cream? I meant eye cream. Anyway, I go in with my eye cream. And uh, this is the number seven Beautiful Skin Overnight Revitalizing Eye Balm. Really love this stuff. It's like specifically for overnight as well, so it's a little bit thicker. And I also use the Dr. Organic Virgin Coconut Oil Eye Perfect Instant Wrinkle Filler, um, which doesn't, I don't really see any, uh, well, I don't really have many eye wrinkles at the moment. Uh, so I don't really use it for that. It's just really nice and like thick and rich cream, if you know what I mean. So let's put one of each on either eye. Why not? Why the hell not? So this is the Dr. Organic one. And both are a lot thicker than... So for morning, I use the uh, Origins Ginseng one, which you saw in my last video. That one is a really thin, sort of glowy eye cream. These ones are much thicker and more sort of like overnight, gonna sink into the skin, gonna refresh everything. So this is the number seven one on the other eye. Put way too much on, so just gonna take some off on the back of my hand and smooth that under the eye. Wow, put way too much of that on. Well. Okay, and for a little finishing touch, I'll put on some lip balm before I go to bed. So at the moment I'm using the Lanolips 101 ointment. This stuff is absolutely insane. It's a basically a cheaper version of the Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream. You can use it for dry skin, chapped lips, cuticles, you know, anything really um, and it's really really nice it's like seven pounds whereas Elizabeth Arden is like 20 pounds <laughs> so really nice alternative okay and that is my finished evening skincare routine yeah so I'm sorry it did take me so long to follow up with this second part of this video um, I was kindly nudged by some people at work to uh, get my ass in gear and film it so here I am. I hope that it was helpful for you guys. Um, if you have any more suggestions for things to try out, please do leave it in the comments section below. I'm always up for trying new skincare products. It is one of my favourite things to do. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already subscribed. That would be wonderful. I'll catch you guys in my next video.